I have one of the most difficult jobs aside to a member of the nuclear family. I am the brother of an 11 year old sister. You know the stress I go through? Checking every Instagram post to make sure no boys attack playful emojis on them. Hearing her converse at night and making sure that there's no sex craving testosterone infiltrating the speakers of her phone. Making sure that grades are just as high as my hopes for her. This shit is hard. These past 11 years, my mother's been nesting inside of what used to be a bird chest. Just recently, I saw many elevations and I'm not with that shit. The text that illuminated my message just consisted of her saying, the boys at school think I'm sexy. Bro, right then and there, I knew there was only one thing I could do. You. I called the weed man. But you know it gets worse, I'm right? I'm hearing that shit, man. Bro, just went to her bad attitude is validated through mood swings. A week out of the month, your sister will be resembling of all seven dwarf motherfuckers from Snow White. And all the time you'll be wondering, what the fuck did I do to deserve this? Because when I was 11, I devalued the skin on my body, figuring that my brown mixed with the young girls would tar the earth like cigarettes smoke in a cancer patient's lungs. I would walk into my home tree, picking only the lightest and rarest fruit, choosing mangoes over plums, of course, because the darker she was, the smaller her value. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed to admit that when I was her age, the shade of my sister's skin was so par for those who wore it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. sisters were good enough to hug, but not good enough to hold on to. Good enough for a job, but damn sure I ain't good enough to talk on the phone with it. I was producing scenes of self hate in my life. I was too foolish to see that ground shade should be appreciated even when the world was black and white. I missed the big picture. Like the family photos my mother would hang on the wall. She created significant steps that made a bridge for me to walk over. The embarrassing realization I had been doing my black woman wrong, stood in my kitchen making my breakfast every morning, picked me up from school every evening, and told me about how lucky I was that I didn't have to fight for what my ancestors did. But while she educated me, I segregated you. I defecated on all the knowledge, neglected my queen sisters to turn the darker cheek. This is not the admission of a strong black man. This is the admission of the week. The week in three days I was passed through. 11 pounds, 2 ounces, and 19 hours of labor later, my mother had me in her arms. Just so that 19 years later, I can remember the grace the color of her skin was shown to me. It took some time away from that self-hating movie of mine to see that a black woman wasn't the loud mouth, heartbroken, hot-tempered piece of work that Tyler Perry painted. But a black woman was. My mother, too, who took time from college classes in her mid-40s because her kids did not like school and she wanted to show how important education was. A black woman was the roots beneath the tree of life. And you wonder why they tried to leave her pride in the dirt. My brown eyes lost sight of how even brown skin can shine in the dimmest light. No excuse can be made to make up for the things I have said and done. My mother is a black woman. My sister is a black woman. And, and I'll, I'll be dead before I spend another moment forgetting the bond this skin is forged. I would throw my right hand at anyone who would abuse one of my sister's beings. Two black eyes later, I realized that I was as harmful as an abusive brother could be. It, it takes the love of our sisters to, to bring light for a brother to see.